I am going to discuss what how to read data from multiple files in Java programming language. Now you can see here this is the department EMP and node of files are there. So this file that I am going to read with this code. So first I am going to show you about this uh, files. So this is here department CSV files. So this is the record. Next is EMP file and EMP file. This is the record EMP and uh, the next uh, two CSV file and uh, one text file. So this is the another file text file. So this is the data present in there. So this all data that I'm going to read by using Java programming. So this is the code here. The first here I import IO package. So if I comment here on the IO, so now you can see there is the red mark on the buffer reader. So that means buffer reader definition that comes inside IO package. Okay, so IO package that required. Next is buffer reader. So buffer reader cross that required. So it reads text from the character input stream buffering character so that so as to provide efficient reading of characters array and line so it is used to read the characters array or lines so there i created the object b1 so this is the array tab and given the size 3 since 3 files is there so that given the file 3 if the file is 4 then you should keep the size 4 now here b1 0 index that is stored department e department file uh, b1 1 index emp and b2 or uh, b b1 2 index that is stored node file okay now there after boolean type of for uh, uh, boolean type variable i have taken the name flag it has initialized with false now uh, not equal to false flag that means not equal to false that means true so here for each loop that I'm using so b1 that's come from this uh, here b1 that is the object of buffer reader and b1 0 index department b1 1 index emp b1 2 index node so this one by one that go to b2 and thereafter b2 that read the line so first time that read first line, next time next that read next line. So it will read a uh, first line of uh, uh, of uh, this all files like uh, EMP, DP, department and node. Then here if the files, so if the file in last there is the no lines, okay. So when that found there is the no lines in the file then, okay, so when that found line is null so here reading is over that display and in flag that uh, become true so not true that means false so if the false then while loop terminated so let's uh, run this code and uh, see the output so here this is the file that reads so this is here department files first line next is emp next is node files now you can see department department id so here department department id department id next here emp files so emp file emp number e name job now you can see emp number and the third line that reads text file factorize this all then again after reading first line that uh, here this condition is the false so because line has nine is not null so this condition is false so this print then again while loop continue next time that uh, uh, comes to this one and p1 second line that display so second line of department emp note that display so here or we can say second line of uh, department emp note that go to b2 next b2 that read 
is trying to align and here uh, that display the align so next time if I run so this is the output now you can see so this is here 30 processing 114 it come not this one this one here so this is the second line of department and this is the second line of EMP and this is the second line of node text file so one by one lines are reading so this is the code to read the data from multiple files in Java programming now there is the important thing since I have given the here size 4 so, sorry size 3 so if I give here 5 other than 3 so definitely that uh, return the exception because uh, it has only 3 files 3 files but size given the 3 and size given the 5 so array index out of bond exception that comes or you can see here java lang null pointer exception because the b2 is the null so that here if the whatever the file how many number of files if the if that 3 then give the 3 size if 4 then give the 4 size you can't give less like if i give here 2 giving to control as to save now let's run the code now index 2 out of bond for length 2 so this is the exception that generating because the uh, given file size 3 and uh, here buffer reader size 2 so buffer reader size same with the file size same with the file number now let's run this code now you can see there is no any problem with the output so this point should be remember so this is the code here to read multiple data from the mul to read data from the multiple files in java programming okay now next video i will discuss about to how to read first files so first file data next to uh, all this emp data full emp data and after emp or reading the node file data so next video i will this discuss about that one so please watch my next video to learn about how to read uh, multiple files one by one so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next video thank you